now, the WSSA TV 1005 News from Historic Row Hall on the Fox Chapel campus of Shadyside Academy. The 1005 News starts now. Good morning, Shadyside Academy, and thank you for tuning in to your favorite bi-weekly compulsory news station. I'm Izzy Callahan. And I'm Dan Kuna. Wait. What? I I'm Izzy Callahan. And I'm Dan Cunahan, and this is the 1005 News. Let's get into this past week's stories. This past weekend was the annual Clipper Dance, a tradition which perfectly blends the awkwardness of high school dances with the confined space of a small boat. And if you thought you couldn't dance before, just try to do it while you're seasick, sweating, and trying to avoid unwanted eye contact with Mr. Loke. The theme for seniors this year was early 2000s, or better known as the clothes that Mr. Frankel and Senor Cronin wore in college. With more on the dance, let's check in with Tyler Hackaday. I'm Tiger, I mean Tyler Hackaday, coming from the Gateway Clipper. We're about to find out what people are wearing today. I'm here with Vice President Dan Cunahan, here to check out what he is. Dan, what are you today? I think I just want to be in a boy band. That's all I have for you. I am Paris Hilton at her 21st birthday party in 2002. Jeez, what are you supposed to be? I mean, you're wearing a Kawhi Leonard's jersey, and that's not early 2000s. Do you have something to say about that? No. no. I just want to get some me dancing with you. I'm here with Sue Yang, man. What, what are you today? That's a nice costume. What is that? Uh, I don't know. It's just some ra I'm just some random dude from the early 2000s, man. I'm wearing a suit. That is all. Back to you, Dan and Izzy. Yeah, back to you, Dan and Izzy. Well, I hope Mr. Frankel didn't wear most of that. Speak for yourself. And now, to El Santoro with weather. Dude, what are you doing? I'm tanning. It's March 9th, 2018. Well, it's 289.1 Kelvins out today, so... Okay. So, uh, you know what the weather's gonna be like next week? Uh, I, I don't even know. Back to you. Thank you, Al. I guess. And now, kicking it to the Michael Jordan of interviews, to the Michael Phelps of charisma, to the Tom Brady that people actually like, to the number one ranked sports reporter in Fox Chapel, Jack Naughton with sports. Y'all ready for this? Thanks, guys. I'd like to start off by congratulating all of our winter sports teams on a very successful winter season. Great season so far for the boys' basketball team as they are still competing in state playoffs. Uh, the swim team is taking a trip to Bucknell to compete in states after the boys placed fifth in Whippeal and the girls won the whole thing for, yes, the fourth time in a row. The girls' basketball team also had a great season with Ariana Goitz leading the team with... Yes, 324 points. Well done for all hockey teams. The fan favorite, Boys Prep, finished with a record of 23-14, and 14, and the girls went to the championship after this insane game-winning shot from Shayla Edwards. Make sure to congratulate your favorite prep hockey player on their successful season. Back to you. Thank you, Jack. I love the sports. Now, let's go to my co-anchor, Dan Cunahan whom I have temporarily removed from my main desk here in Scott Commons. Dan, tell us about the reason we have been talking about parking for the last year. On May 18th, 2017, ground was broken on the $14 million McElroy Center for Science Innovation on the senior school campus. The LEED Gold Certified Facility will be the new home to the Shadyside Science Department and will incorporate sustainable features that reduce environmental impact. But the real work will go on in the classrooms those of students that are interested in following a career in science that we get them as prepared as possible for college and beyond in the sciences. The McElroy will have 10 flexible classroom lab spaces for physics, biology, and chemistry, plus larger, more responsive spaces for research, collaboration, and independent study. The new building, how that, it's going to enhance that process. The 22,000 square foot U-shaped brick and glass design respects the architectural style of SSA's campus while bringing new energy and state-of-the-art design features. Solar panels on the roof will contribute a portion of the building's electricity needs, but when the building is not in use, the rooftop panels will still contribute. All that sun that we're capturing is going right onto the grid. The building is set to open for classes this fall. Plans for what comes next for the science lab in the basement of Rowe still underway. But what students can be sure of is that a cafe will be included in the deal. This has been Dan Cunahan reporting from the, from the McElroy Center for Science and Innovation. Back to you, Izzy. 
Thank you, Dan. That all looks amazing. I'm so excited to use it. Oh, what's that I'm hearing? I won't get to. Okay, that's great. And that about wraps it up for the news this week. I'm Izzy Callahan, and this is your WSSA 1005 News. To see the full newscast, please go to the Shadyside Academy YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. We're not prepared, but it's too late now. <laughs>